So we just finished morning conference where the residents discussed the cases they encountered over the past two days. So now I'm just waiting for our orientation to start to introduce us to what we'll be doing for my first two weeks of PJ rotation since it'll just be purely online and I'm not really sure what to expect since I had an orientation yesterday for TMC but since I'm rotating at a different hospital I need to be oriented on what the policies are and how we'll be evaluated during these two weeks. So my pediatric rotation is divided into eight weeks of rotations across four different institutions but due to the pandemic we're restricted to only face-to-face -face clerkship at our partner hospital while the rest will be purely online. For the first week of this two-week rotation, my groupmates and I will be joining the daily admissions conferences with the residents and the consultants which will be followed by one to three lectures throughout the day depending on what's scheduled, while the second week will be reporting based on the assignments they gave to us. After the morning orientation, we proceeded with the lecture for the day, which is a history and PE of the newborn. We took a break around lunchtime at the midpoint of the lecture, then resumed it in the afternoon. Here, just be roughly uh, where the glabella would be and then the occiput retuberance here and then yeah that's uh, that would be the head circumference and I just report the measurement and send you uh, chest circumference is um, you take your measuring tape and then you um, around the you wrap it around the baby's chest and around the sternum and then Good morning everyone, so it's day two of clerkship and today, like, and actually yesterday was quite chill because it's just this orientation and we just had one lecture to go through and today I have like three lectures scheduled and it starts with a chlamydia lecture this morning and then I have a seminar to attend right after and then another lecture by one of the doctors in the afternoon and all that's online and the benefit of that is that I get to just chill here in my room. Obviously, I'd prefer to be in the hospital, but you know, it is what it is with the pandemic. And I just gotta make the most of what opportunities are given to me. So in between that, I'll probably do some of my Anki cards and also do some practice questions since I set a goal for myself every day to do my Anki and do some board style questions so that I'm prepared for the end of rotation exam as well as as early as now I'm already preparing for the board exam that I'll be taking in 2023. So I just finished answering some mock exam questions. I didn't do my numbers yesterday, so I had to double up today. So I answered, my goal is to answer at least 14 a day. So I answered 28 to make up for yesterday. So here I have a spreadsheet of a bunch of board style questions that I got 
from a PDF that that I got from my friends in school, and I made it into a spreadsheet, and I put the questions here on the left side, and then whited out the explanations here on the right, so that I can't look at the answer key while answering the exam. And afterwards, I go check the answers and then note down what type of mistakes I made. So if you see here, I put hashtag C, that means it's a content error. So I didn't understand the content. So knowing that, I'll make a flashcard based on that later on the content that I missed out. And if I put hashtag T, well, currently I didn't put anyone here. Um, if it's a hashtag T question, it means it was just a mistake of testmanship skills. So I didn't read the question right or test anxiety or whatever. So it's not related to my knowledge of the content. And then hashtag 50 is like I was stuck in a 50-50 uh, decision. I knew what it was, but I could narrow it down to the correct answer. And I was just left to guess between two specific items. So I made one of those mistakes there. And that will just make me know um, I have to focus in on the specific difference between a disease or two pieces of information. So I just finished this morning's admitting conference. Um, I don't have any more lectures scheduled this morning, so I will probably just do Anki cards and my practice questions for the day and just to pass the time before my uh, lecture in the afternoon. So it's a relatively chill day, but I'll take advantage of it and try to get as much learning as I can in between lectures. So I just finished my last lecture for the day, well for at least Med because I still have an MBA lecture after this. But we basically discussed what the history in PE for newborns are, I know, for pediatric patients. It's basically a review of what I learned in the first three years of Med and just so that we have an idea once we resume face-to-face -face rotations, um, what to experience, especially when I want to go to the hospital in a few weeks. And you know, it's like, I hope I do get to go to the hospital because it's really hard to really know if you know the concepts just by listening to the lecture because this is something, it's a hard skill, you need to be able to actually do it in person and just because you listen to a lecture doesn't mean you'll be able to apply it directly. Here's hoping that uh, I'll remember most of what my prof said and be able to apply it properly and if I make mistakes, I make mistakes but at least I'll learn from those mistakes and hopefully uh, refine those skills further as the weeks go by. So I didn't record much now after the third day because of the announcement of ECQ and they were going to pull us out of the hospitals. That would cut into my uh, one of the two weeks of my face-to-face -face rotation. But later, they announced that they approved my school as APOR or allowed persons outside residence. So thankfully, all clerks and interns now of ASMPH are immune of any ECQ announcements. So even if they announce ECQ again in the future, will be allowed to rotate in the hospitals. So the next vlog I'll post will definitely be once I'm in the hospital. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.